years ago when I was at up with Dr. Summerall. Up in Dr. Well, up in South Bend, put it that way. In South Bend, they have a car factory there. They used to make cars there. And they made two cars there, uh, but the main one they made at, at one time was called the Avanti. And it was an amazing car. You could take a wheel off of it, and it would still drive. It was so balanced. It was amazing. I thought, that's the kind of car I need right there. <laughs> and, so, and so they had this thing. And I think the other one they made there was the Edsel before they shut down and didn't make it anymore. Uh, one of them anyway. But so we go to this. They, they gave us tickets to go through this factory. So we go to the factory. This thing is huge. It's like an airplane hangar. And we walk in. It's hot. And we walk into this building, and they got all the cars and the chassis and the bodies and all that stuff all sitting down there. And there was only a few workers there. And so they said, well, we're going to go up to the, what did they call it, control room or something like that. And so we had to walk up these stairs and climb these rickety stairs and everything. And it was hot. And the higher you got, the more the heat was in there, and it, you got hotter. So finally, we got to this room where the control room was, and we opened the door, and it was an ice box in there. I mean, it was cold. So we go in, and there's this guy sitting there uh, in an in a easy boy recliner, literally. Just sitting there all comfortable, had a joystick there, and we're sitting there, we're looking at it, and it's nice and cool. He's not sweating at all. He's just sitting there, and he says, yeah, come on in, come on in. So we got around behind him. There was about eight or ten of us. We walked around behind him. He's just sitting there talking the whole time, talking to him. Yeah, how's it going? How's it going? And just talking. And we're watching him, and he's not even grabbing this thing and moving it. He's just kind of flicking it. I mean, just boop, boop, over, okay, back over. And every time he would move that joystick, this big crane in the warehouse would roll across these rollers, zzz, stop, then he'd push it down, zzz, go down, he would grab something, it would grab this body of a car, and then he would pull it back, zzz, move it over, take it over to a chassis, set it down on it. He's moving, you know, thousands of pounds around. And he's sitting there not even breaking a sweat. And he's just sitting there talking, easiest thing, no, no muscle at all required. And we're sitting there, and he's talking about these things, and he's just kind of sharing things. How are you doing? What you? And just talking, and just going on and putting cars together down on the factory floor. And he'd put the thing on, and then these workers would run out there, and, they'd zip, 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 and he'd do the next one. And I'm standing there, and I'm listening to him, and because I'm not really interested so much in the cars aspect, to be honest with you. But I'm, I'm watching how he's doing this, and it amazed me that he could move these big old things and not even break a sweat. And so he's moving the stuff around, and I'm standing there watching, listening to him, and the Holy Spirit, well, actually, Jesus. You say, how do you know the difference? Well, you can tell the difference. If you talk to him much, you can tell the difference. And, but it was Jesus. And he said, that's the Holy Spirit. And I'm like, what, what's the Holy Spirit? What, what's going on? And he said, that crane. I'm like, the crane is the Holy Spirit. I'm like, now I'm ready to start testing the spirits, right? Because <laughs> I'm thinking, how, how is that? And, and in, in a moment in time, he went through this whole thing with me. He said, the company wanted cars put together. And that man couldn't move those cars. So the company had to give him something strong enough to move the cars. So they put a crane in here because the crane can move the car. But the man can't lift the car body. But with a crane, he can do it. So the company had to take something that amplified, multiplied his strength strong enough to get the job done they wanted done. So they put a crane in there, but he still they still needed a human hand on it. This is before robots. Okay? And so they needed a human hand on there to guide this thing, and whenever he put his hand on it, whatever he did, it was magnified. But it accomplished his will, which was the will of the company. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the paraclete that you have in you. 